Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow circle with the center of fully confined in a rectangle A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, 100 pi and uh, E and uh, F are the points of uh, tangency and moreover uh, this uh, AC is the diagonal that passes through this uh, center O and furthermore uh, this segment uh, AP is uh, 16 and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green uh, shaded area is uh, equal to the area of this uh, big uh, rectangle uh, ABCD minus uh, the area of this uh, yellow circle. And we know that the area of this uh, yellow circle uh, is uh, 100 uh, pi. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times width. And here our length uh, is uh, CD and our width uh, is uh, AD. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate this length uh, and uh, the width. And here's our very first step. We know the area of this uh, yellow circle is uh, 100 uh, pi. And we are interested in calculating the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius of the circle. Let's go ahead and equate uh, these uh, two equations. So therefore, we are going to get uh, pi r square equals to 100 uh, pi. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by pi. So therefore our r square value turns out to be 100. Let's go ahead and take a square root uh, on uh, both sides to undo this uh, square. So therefore our uh, radius uh, r turns out to be 10 uh, units. So therefore we can see that our this uh, radius uh, OP turns out to be 10 uh, units. So I can write down uh, 10 over here. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, these points uh, E and uh, F and EF uh, turns out to be the diameter of this uh, yellow circle that passes through this center O. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see this is our tangent line, and this is our radius, and this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So no wonder these uh, both angles, this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each. Since OE and OF are the radii, and we can see that this uh, AB and CD are the tangent lines. And now let's make an observation. We can see this OF is the radius uh, of this yellow circle, and we know the radius is uh, 10. So therefore, uh, this uh, length is going to be 10 uh, units. Likewise, this uh, OE is the radius as well. So this is going to be 10 units uh, as well. So therefore this uh, whole uh, diameter EF is going to be 10 uh, plus 10 is going to make uh, 20. And we can see in this uh, rectangle uh, this uh, EF length uh, is same as this uh, length uh, AD. If this is uh, 20 then this uh, AD length is going to be 20 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEO, whose uh, this uh, side length uh, AO is going to be 16 uh, plus uh, 10. 
that is going to make uh, 26 units and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me call uh, this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c I'm going to call this uh, side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, a so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula we don't know a square plus uh, b is uh, 10 whole square equal to 26 whole square let's go ahead and subtract 100 from both sides so this is gone so a square turns out to be 576 let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our a value turns out to be 24 so therefore our this a length uh, turns out to be 24 units and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right triangles a e o and this other right triangle uh, c f o we can see that uh, both of these uh, right triangles are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side uh, angle uh, congruency theorem since uh, this uh, side length o f is equal to this side length o e we know that these uh, two angles are uh, 90 degree angles furthermore uh, these angles are uh, vertical angles and they are congruent so no wonder both of these uh, triangles are uh, congruent so therefore we conclude that this uh, side length a e is equal to this uh, side length uh, fc this is 24 units so therefore this has got to be 24 units as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, length uh, a e is going to be equal to this length uh, d f if this is a uh, 24 so this has got to be 24 units uh, as well so therefore we can see that this whole uh, length uh, c d is going to be 24 plus 24 is going to give us uh, 48 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, a b c d and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula once again area equals to length uh, times width and we can see our length is uh, 48 and our width is uh, 20 so therefore the area of this uh, rectangle uh, is going to be equal to 48 uh, times uh, 20 if we multiply that is going to give us uh, 900 uh, and uh, 60 so therefore the area of the rectangle turns out to be 960 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region and now let's recall this equation uh, once again the green uh, region area equals to the rectangle ABCD area minus this uh, yellow circle area and our uh, rectangle area is 960 and our uh, yellow circle area is 100 pi so therefore our this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to 960 minus uh, 100 uh, pi square units so thus the green uh, shaded region area turns out to be 960 minus uh, 100 pi square units and that is going to be equal to 645.84 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.